You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Chairman of the Permanent Security Command for the election, Deputy Prime Minister So King, has stated the high appreciation for the armed forces and relevant authorities at all levels who have worked hard to maintain security, public order and social security, facilitating the smooth conduct of all the stages of the Fifth Mandate Commune Suncut Council elections in 2022. EAC News reporter Dekunin has more details. On Monday, 6th of June, the Minister of Interior and the President of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, Deputy Prime Minister Sa King, thanked all the authorities and the armed forces for their participation in the prevention and resolution of inactivity in line with the principles of professionalism and neutrality. In order to create more favorable conditions and a secure environment for citizens and political parties to compete in the election and be able to exercise their rights and freedoms according to their will. The Deputy Prime Minister said the process was successful and under a calm, peaceful and non-violent environment. The Fifth Mandate Commission Council election has shown to the national and international communities a level of maturity and autonomy. Reflecting Cambodia's commitment to implementing the principles of multi-party liberal democracy as enshrined in the Constitution of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Deputy Prime Minister Saul King also took the opportunity to thank members of the public throughout the kingdom for participating in the maintenance of security, public order, as well as obeying the rules and procedures which contributed to the smooth, free, correct and fair conduct of this important national event. Speaking at a meeting with stakeholders to summarize the general events of the 5th Commune Sankat Council election 2022 on Sunday evening, National Election Committee Chairman Bright Jen said that despite some issues such as bad weather, the election went ahead as planned. He revealed that in the run-up to the election, there had been a breach of the election aggression plan in which the Permanent Security Command of the election and the National Election Committee had issued guidelines on strengthening security for election events to control the situation and to ensure the election ran smoothly and safely. He added, at the same time, due to the good cooperation between the mechanism and the election security at all levels, with the National Election Committee and election committees at all levels, our election process was successful and held in a calm, secure and safe environment with social order, no violence and no threats present. Lekanin, EAC News.